Alright, GM mode, my best preset mode, hands down. I always start in GM mode, uh, but remember my soil here is a little clay. My soil is generally a loomy, sandy type soil. I'm not basing it off anything else, mineralized, hot, red clay, dark, dark, dark black soils, wet soils, um, generally mine are well drained. Here it's a little more clay consistency. I'm basing it solely off my location, Eastern Virginia, not anywhere else. Okay, not England, not France, not Western Virginia, not Massachusetts, not Florida, Virginia. GM mode. You can see tracking, everything is locked solid, 82, 83, it's perfect. Um, general GM mode, disc 6.8. Sensitivity 90, frequency is 18. Um, I mean, this is the general standard. Iron volume 3, reactivity 2, okay? Um, iron volume uh, is that 3. Uh, audio response 4. This is a standard program from DAS. You do not need to be an expert or a, a professional or a, an advanced veteran metal detectorist. I've been detecting 14 years. Mine Labs, Whites, Tesoro, Technetics, all of them. Mastered the E Track well. Had it for a very long time. Loved it. Loved everything about it. It broke my heart to get rid of it. But, you know, you got to listen to your body. And as we age and the hobby changes and technology changes, I was willing to open up a little bit to this wireless technology. The machine is a Beautiful machine, well balanced, perfect, perfect machine to swing. Okay, um, I'm hanging with everybody I've melatected with. I don't feel like I'm losing anything compared to the other machines I've used. And I would say the E Track and the uh, T2 SE I've used to perfection. I mean, I was, uh, I, I could just tell. I didn't, I, I mean, I could just swing that machine and know exactly what was in the ground. I could call it before I even dug it. Um, I'm still learning the IDs on this one because each frequency. You know, the same target comes up a different number. I mean, these bullets in GM mode are coming up in the 80s. I'm sure if I switch down to 12, they're going to come up in the, in the mid to upper 70s. So, you know, it, I'm just basing it on what I do and the conditions I'm in, okay? But this machine's for real. I know there's a price tag on it. I get it. But this machine will grow with you. I'm not an expert. Pong guru. The guys over there in, in England, I mean, just, just a few guys over there, uh, Grayson Digger or whatever, um, but these guys have mastered this machine. It's been available longer over there in England and stuff in France, but anyway, you want to learn, you, you want the, the, the ins and outs, those guys are the guys. They help me. I'm telling you what works for me in the United States. I'm a Civil War relic hunter, colonial house site hunter. That's it. No parks, no beaches, nothing. I, I just can't explain anymore. People ask me, hey, how do you like the Deus? I love the Deus. The very beginning, wow, I was frustrated. It's a complicated, I thought, you know, wow, this is complicated. But e track to e this, it was a big learning curve. I mean, just the same as this. Here, this it's just a dream. So anyway, let's get this target out of the ground. I just dug two right there, okay? Pinpoint it. Very simple. <laughs> Guys, it doesn't get easier than that, does it? I mean, that was simple. Simple. We had freezing fog this morning. Uh, weather alerts all over the place. Crazy, 29 degrees. Every bush and tree had ice on it. Just a massive, for us, just a quick freeze came through. Nobody expected it. And now the sun's coming out, the fog's lifting, and we're finding Civil War relics, and I couldn't be any happier, guys. You know, attention to detail here. You know, I'm in a yard, so I'm going to pay respects to the landowner. I'm not going to tear his yard up. There's a lot of guys that take the dirt on a rag and towel, put it out, but, you know, most of the time, you don't need to do that. And right there it is, guys. You know, you know, there you go. There you saw it. Last hole. 
six and a half, seven inches, and bam, Civil War right there. Real, live, no joke.